we're very much still in response and recovery mode. Now thoughts go out to the people, animals, their properties and livelihoods that have been affected by the cyclone. Our team has been part of a collaborative effort. We've been looking at the extent of the landslide and flooding damage as well as ongoing and emerging hazards. Personally, this is the largest event I've been involved in, um, in terms of how many tens of thousands of landslides there are and the people and properties affected by it. The storm seems to have triggered landslides in very dense and focused clusters. We would be flying along and seeing a lot of damage in one valley and then fly to the next valley and see almost nothing. One of the ways that we've been helping in this particular event is to provide councils, civil defense groups, NEMA and so on with a forecast of where rainfall induced landslides occur. This is a new tool GNS has developed. It incorporates many factors including rainfall, slope angle, land use, geology, so what each slope comprises in terms of rock and soil, um, and soil moisture. This is the first time that a tool like this has been used in New Zealand during an event 